There's a lot of different multiplication strategies that we can try. Um, one of the ways that we can do it is we can break up these numbers. 35 can be 30 plus 5, 28 can be 20 plus 8. So we can take these apart. Um, we can do it as 30 plus 5 times 20 plus 8. So if we were to do this, then we have to make sure we multiply both of these parts by both of these parts. So if we think of combinations, there's actually four different combinations we can do. So we're actually, um, when I do this, I like to draw arrows so I keep track of what I have done. So I'm going to take 30 times 20, and I'm going to do 30 times 8. Now I multiply the 30 times both of these numbers over here. So now I need to make sure that I multiply the 5 times both of those numbers over there. So I'm going to do 5 times 20 and 5 times 8. So if I were to write this problem out, we would have 30 times 20. We would have 30 times 8. We would also have um, 5 times 20. And we would have 5 times 8. So as you can see, this is all the combinations here. Now, the nice thing about this method is you don't have to do a lot of math thinking about what the answers to these problems are. 30 times 20, well, 3 times 2 is 6, and I add my two zeros on the end, so it would be 600. 30 times 8 uh, is 3 times 8, which is 24, and add a 0 to it. And 5 times 20 is 100, 5 times 2 is 10, and add a 0 to it. And 5 times 8 is 40. So, I have all of my products over here. And all I have to do is add them up. Notice how I've nicely lined them up so it'll be a nice, easy addition problem. So it'd be 0, 8, and 9. So my answer to this problem would be 980. Now, another way that a lot of people like to do this is 